Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today's episode is hotter than the coals on a summer barbecue. We're diving into the world of stuffed turkey burgers on a pit barrel cooker. But first, if you're ready for a sizzling adventure, drop a like and let's fire up this flavor party. Ever wonder how to take turkey burgers from bland to bowl? Stick around as we unravel the secrets to stuffing and grilling these bad boys. Let's start by making the stuffed turkey patties. Place some ground turkey into the bottom of the burger press. Press it down. Use the indentation tool to create the pocket. I have a full video about this burger press that I'm using. Check out the link in the comments. Place the cheese and the marinara or pesto sauce filling into the pocket that was created by the burger press. Then place the cheese right on top of the sauce. Then let's put a lid on it. And then we're gonna let the burgers rest while we fire up the pit barrel cooker. This would also be a good point to add any seasoning to the burger that you want. Uh, in this particular instance, I did use Evergrade's all-purpose seasoning. This is going to be somewhat of a fast smoke. We won't need a full charcoal basket. I have a little pile of unlit coals with a hickory trunk on top. I will pour a whole charcoal chimney of lit coals on top of that pile. Once the pit barrel cooker is up to temp, we will then add the patties to the grill grate. We'll replace the rebar hanging rods and close the lid. We will then check back in about 10 minutes to check out the progress. While we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and toast our brioche buns in a frying pan. Take the buns, add a thin layer of mayonnaise, and place face down over medium heat. Allow the buns to toast for a few minutes before removing them. You could do both sides of the bun if desired. It has been about 10 minutes and it's time to check on the turkey burgers. We're aiming for an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I know that they aren't done, but I wanted to take an internal temp to see where we're at and if I needed to make any adjustments. It is now time to flip the burgers and it is definitely a lot easier to flip if you remove the rebar hanging rods. After flipping the turkey burgers, we'll give them another 10 minutes to come up to temp. It has now been around 20 minutes and the stuffed turkey burgers are now around an te internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I am going to pull the turkey burgers from the pit barrel cooker and take them inside. While inside I decided I wanted a nice crust or a char on the burgers so I used the frying pan from earlier to add another level of texture. All you got to do is add some oil to the pan, place the stuffed burgers into the pan and let them sit for 3-5 to five minutes per side. Once the stuffed turkey burgers have the desired amount of sear and they reach that 165 degree Fahrenheit minimum, it'll be safe to remove them from the frying pan and allow them to rest. To dress the burger, let's take our toasted brioche bun, add some additional sauce to the top, and throw on the lid. And there you have it, a stuffed turkey burger smoked on the pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. The recipe is linked in the comments. While you're there, let me know what are your favorite stuffed burger ingredients? Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.